And now you're gonna believe us, and now you're gonna believe us, and now you're gonna believe us, the wolves are going up. <laughs> So, so close now. We don't even have to do anything now to be promoted. We're relying on a Brentford to stop Fulham on Saturday or failing that Wolves beat Birmingham and they are promoted. A fantastic performance again and I can't believe how many times I've had to say that this season. And the contrast again from last season and the previous season, I don't think I used the word fantastic at all to describe any of those performances. But today we saw again the collective, the team that is more important than everything else. And we controlled the game against the fifth best team in the league, arguably. You know, they're, they're looking at the league table, but Derby didn't threaten a single moment in the game. And we showed pure class throughout the whole 90 minutes. The first goal came very early on. A great little through ball, I believe, from Willy Bolly. Jota collected it really well. Must have assumed he was offside. He was in so much space and then coolly slotted it away. In contrast to the sort of performances we've seen from him recently and his panicking in front of goal, put that away with ease. And then we controlled the game for the whole of the first half. And then to come to Neves' goal, I'm sure everybody watching this video must have seen it by now because it is, it's been all over social media as soon as he hit it. Absolutely unbelievable. It's probably, I'd go as far as to say it's the best goal I've ever seen, full stop, in the flesh. Um, a previous favourite goal of mine was Kevin Cooper's uh, against Norwich City in the playoffs, which was only a consolation in the end, but was a similar goal from miles out. But Neves just showed his, that he's not, he's not at this level. He's far, far above the championship. He's going to be so at home in the Premier League and he's going to be able. And I hope he realises how much we idolise him and how much we really do appreciate how good he is and you know to, I've never known a stadium sing a name so loud for so long again um, to him and that if he stays at Wolves for two or three four years we could be at the level that he should be at, at the Champions League and he'd have a statue next to Billy Wright I think I genuinely think he's the best Wolves player since that sort of era and for people like me mid-twenties we haven't seen a level of player like Neves to compare to that era of player. A lot of people have said this as well, but I'm, I'm going to reiterate it and agree with the point that's been made. Uh, every player more or less has had their moment throughout the season. We've had John Ruddy's penalty save against Cardiff now, Ryan Bennett's header against Bristol, Neves's wonder goals throughout the season, Jota's uh, performance against Nottingham Forest stands out, Afobi's goals against Burton. They have all had their moment, except for Connor Cody now. And if we have a penalty or if they, we have a corner, usually he stays back. I really, 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 I think every Wolves fan wants to see him get his moment in the sun. Not that it's anything like that anyway, because of the team ethic that's been created at the Molyneux. And everybody's all together. It doesn't matter who gets the goals or who does anything. Cody's been a fantastic leader and he proved that again today. You could constantly hear his voice barking out instructions. And, you know, you watch these funny videos of uh, Neves and Jota and talking about who's the most annoying and whatever. And it, they always say Cody because he's just constantly talking. But he's been such a leader for us. And that's the difference this season to previous seasons is that we've had a leader in almost every position in the pitch. You look at Ruddy, you look at Cody, Neves is a captain, a phobe is a sort of leader character, but you've got strong characters in Cavaliero and Costa as well. They don't go hiding. They stand up and they take the punches and they take the hits. And that's why we are top of the league and that's why we're getting promoted because we've got the best leaders and the best players in the division by far. It was also quite nice to watch a game today where you weren't chewing your fingernails <laughs> to, to the quick uh, because I said before the game, to my dad, wouldn't it be nice to just sit and watch a nice, easy 2-0 win and not have any stress at all? And that was exactly what we had today. And if we could have the same again on Sunday against Blues, that would be fantastic. Uh, let me know in the comments down below, where will you be watching the Fulham-Brentford game? Are you going to watch it? Are you bothered about that? Or are you just will you hear the result and think, oh, good, well done? Um, 
personally, I'm going to be out in Cardiff. Um, and I've already told my friends that we must go to a pub where they're showing the fulham Brentford game. And then I'm hot-footing it back across to the Midlands Sunday morning for the game at lunchtime. And I'm very, very excited. I think having having made the decision this season to go to all these games, I think I've just worked out by the end of the season I, should, I would have gone to 47 of the 51 games. Let me know your thoughts from today's game. Uh, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Sorry, it's not as dramatic and as emotional as uh, Friday night, but it didn't have to be today. Um, maybe Sunday that will be. Uh, don't forget to check back for a preview for the Blues game, hopefully with a special guest, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.